Hello everyone, today the Mage Tower is out for testing on the PTR for 24 hours and a lot of people are currently doing it. Uh, I'm going to be trying out Guardian Druid and I remember doing this uh, during Legion and it was, it made me very so hard. So here I am, once again I'm going to be trying it uh, and um, yeah, so see if we can uh, beat it. This is, like I said, on the PTR. I'm expecting it to be completely overtuned or something to be just completely messed up with the fight. I kind of remember it, but um, yeah. So this is just to uh, show you guys how the fight works. Uh, I do plan on doing a video on it when the live comes out as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't want to keep you guys too, uh, too, or too much waiting. So this is going to be the build I'm running. I kind of debating about going balance affinity, but I'm going to stick with the restoration affinity. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, so, um, I've done this two attempts now, and, uh, just to kind of get a feel of the fight, and I don't know if this is going to be beatable. I'm going to try, but I'm basically just going to use this video to kind of explain how the fight works. First phase, you want to kill this guy as little bit as fast as you can, because he's going to be summoning Infernos. You don't want to stand in the puddle for too long. So once you uh, get a few hits in, get out, because the more you're in, the more stacks you'll get, which reduce the health you get. Uh, you also want to interrupt your in life, obviously, immediately. Eventually, uh, throughout the entire fight, these adds will spawn. You just want to AoE them down quickly, and if you don't want them to cast Nether Storm. Um, during the first phase as well, these eyes will appear, and uh, you want to kill those pretty much uh, instantly. Uh, just They can't be uh, meleeed. So, just as a quick disclaimer, um, you have to moonfire them. Interrupt your life immediately. Yeah, you pretty much just want to get in there, uh, get your hits in, etc. Quickly moonfire that out of that. Um, you also don't want Valen to die pretty much through all these ads. You will get knocked back. You don't want to get knocked off the cliff. I remember doing that. It was insanely stupid. <laughs> so. so, yeah, that's pretty much the entire first phase, guys. It's going to be a lot to remember, uh, but to quickly interrupt that. See, there, there's so much going on, it's so hard for me to keep track. My eyesight is not the greatest, as any of you guys have been around my channel know. But uh, I'm trying my best, and hopefully you guys understand Phase 1. I will kind of quickly go over it after the fight, but if you're anything like me, maybe seeing is kind of like better for you. That way you'll like kind of like a visual person, you know what I mean? Dodge smash. The orbs will heal you in Velen, so try to save that if you really, really need it. Because I definitely can tell you guys for sure, phase two, you will definitely need it. Still get knocked back. There's so many knockbacks in this freaking boss fight, it's insane. I'm gonna quickly kill him real quick. Uh, also, quick reminder that your covenant ability and all that stuff do not work. So, just as a quick disclaimer. And then now we're in phase two where the boss is going to be uh, pretty much almost the exact same stuff as the first phase. Uh, except a lot more intense. His Annihilate will hit a lot harder, so try to save your defenses for when he uses Annihilate. Unfortunately, my stupid self did not do that. So, just be warned of that. gonna cast annihilate I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and you have to save your you have to save your defense I don't think you'll live after the third one it's just it's too much it is 
to you who are alone, cruel. Your time has come. Yeah, and then Velen unfortunately dies. He still had 29k health, and I had like two stacks of Annihilate. So yeah, that is pretty much the fight, guys. Um, I think this definitely needs a little bit more tuning. Annihilate hits like a freaking freight train. And I don't know if it's survivable after... I don't think it's survivable even after three, three stacks. You might be able to get away with it at three stacks. But I don't know if it's beatable. If I do end up beating it, I'll include it in this video. But if not... Um, hopefully you guys, uh, got a good idea of what the Mage Tower is like. Obviously this is on the PTR, so it'll hopefully change. And, um, yeah. If there's anything after this video, you guys will see it. If not, uh, let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys later.